Naruto, five ninety nine. Wow. So what happened? Well, yes, five ninety nine happened. Last night I was I was on the forums, and I was looking at people's response, and then some people were, of course, you know, they had fake spoilers, and uh, there was what the spoiler from uh, a. Uh, Manga show 78, Market Manga 78 something from two years ago that was showing it was Izuna. And uh, from 2010, and then someone else came up and said, hey, that's 2010, you know, the, the one, the market comic thing they had. And this year was number 82, not 78, so that was, you know, something from two years ago, which was, was patently false. But anyway... It was a lot of fun there were for people that were, <clears throat> you could say trolling, people were throwing out false information or or unsub unsubstantiated information. And of course you don't know, so you just pass it on and give it a warning or whatever. So that's what happened. There was a lot of that and people were like, well, if it's this and if it's that and how could it be this and it's that. One of the things that really came through from the forums was the level of exhaustion that people were having and waiting because we thought it was going to be the week before and and then they didn't get anything and then it had to be another week and so there was a you know not just the four and a half plus years but uh, this specific part of the unveiling of who it is has been painfully slow but anyway there's a lot of positive and negatives actually there's a lot of things I want to say at the same time but I'm, but okay. I can only do things one at a time. So so let's talk about the actual reading. And there's not really dialogue. So but it's I want to say the actual chapter in and of itself, separate from our own uh, expectations of it, separate from how uh, Kishimoto has uh, unraveled the entire mystery of it. Separate from all of that, it's a fantastic chapter. When I read it, when I the first reading, when I read it, I looked and, and, and it was just it's fantastic. It's got a lot, you know, of course it's got Guy and Kashi and it's got all the Rin and it's got all these characters and they're in different groups and you know, we get to see a lot of characters like, you know, we get to see the third while he's still Okagi and the fourth kind of assisting him and you get to see and of course the story of Obito itself, but you you're seeing all the stuff around it and there's no dialogue and, and, and it's just but it's just fantastic because you get to see everything and I thought I thought as reading it because I didn't when I got up this morning I did not go look for the spoilers I was I knew what I was gonna do I read it from beginning to end I took my time and I thought he's building this up and showing what a great guy he was just he's a lot like Naruto. he's basically the same path as Naruto he just you know he can't comp you know He's a great guy, but he can't compete yet. He's a lot of potential there, but he can't. It isn't uh, revealed yet, and it's just and it hurts him and it's tearing him up inside. But anyway, as you're you're reading this, and you and and I think he's, this is brilliant because in the end, it's going to show that he is dead. Obito is dead, and that you're going to see the angry uh, parent of Obito, which is kind of who or Rin's parent, one of one of the two, one of the four, or however you want to say, or whoever's you know some some relative uh, you know of him or Ren and and I thought he's gonna do a switch this is gonna be brilliant and you go in there and it was literally like someone had taken a two by four and just it was actually a lot like guy beating the hell out of Obito that is what happened to me at the end of this chapter I thought something was gonna happen and then basically guy beat the hell out of me <laughs> just quickly it was I could not believe it I'm like it's grown up Obito I literally was in shock I I just I mean couldn't believe couldn't couldn't it take it in I'm like it can't be that nice kid it can't and, it, and I'm like and even with the as bad as he felt and everything, I, you know, I'm still thinking he, and he, I just couldn't, you know, 
But let me go back to the chapter again when I said about basically defending the chapter, but not the way that Kishimoto has rolled the whole thing out. I went back much later. I've had a very busy day, by the way. Life doesn't stop simply because 599 comes out, so I've had a lot of other. So, but it's given me some time to kind of process it. So I went back several hours later when I had an opportunity. And I said, well, let me look at this again. And I went back, and I would heard other people's reviews. And then I went back, and I, I looked at it. And I really took my time this time, really. And I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to say I was moved to tears, but I did get a little misty because I, I have to say I really saw, um, as bad as it was for Renu, for Naruto, I mean, this guy, I'm not going to say he had, it, it was bad. I mean, it was, you could just, but it was condensed, you know, the way Kishimoto had it out. And I'm like, wow, I really, I can, I, I really feel for this guy in the way that, you know, he was trying to impress Ren and the whole competition thing and the way he just, he just, you know, and, and knowing, I guess what made it worse than Naruto is knowing what was going to happen at the bridge with him getting crushed, knowing that he was, he wasn't going to get to fulfill that potential, uh, with the leaf and, you know, like Naruto has and, and, and be able to, you know, show that he's, you know, he can, he can, you know, the stuff that he can do. So it was really just, you know, knowing that the ending like that and then watching it, it was really painful. Really, really, really painful. It felt extraordinarily bad for him. At the same time, I was also enjoying, like I say, once again, looking at these other characters. You know, the younger, of and Guy in particular, you know, uh, before he hit me <laughs> on the last page. But anyway, moving past that. Uh, so, so let's see. There was a lot I wanted to get to, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get to all of it. But anyway, as uh, but the chapter in and of itself is fantastic, and even without dialogue, the 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 pictures and everything really, like I say, 599 is a fantastic chapter. Okay, now let's get to the negatives. And there's some stuff that I've said, and maybe I haven't said it. Um. Well, let's see. I don't remember all. I, I anybody that's been watching my videos for a while knows that I'm not. Uh, uh, every once in a while, I will bring out that I'm not 100% way uh, happy with the way that Kishimoto portions out his information, the, the pacing of it, and uh, and the portions. You know how much. Like, uh, let me give you an example. I don't think I brought it before, but the whole thing with Shishu and Danzo's there, and an eye for Danzo and an eye for Itachi. And it was so condensed, right? Like the the whole Shishu thing. That should have been done over, in my opinion, in segments. As opposed to, because I remember that issue with the whole trying to understand and this and that. It was too much at once. The 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 amount that Kishimoto threw out there about Shishu it was simply too much at once. You know the whole thing with the eye of the crow and the Shishu and you know yeah. So, but this has been too way too slow. Remember, I mean one jitsu, one. I mean we've had stuff that take multiple like two chapters or multiple chapters that people at this point are not that interested in right I and mean, we're pretty much focused Kishimoto's missing it because people he's probably about a month and a half behind I know it's been four and a half years but right now where people are at wanting answers he's behind and people are pretty upset like I say and we've already we've had kind of reveal fatigue because it's oh well here we're gonna spend a few chapters and nobody can, you know. But anyway, so that's the negative part of it for me. <clears throat> now, let's get to that end page and let's break this down just a little bit. What do we know from 599? Okay, beyond the, the Obito's very, you know, kind of sad story. So it's the body of Obito, more or less. Remember the whole thing with the. Uh, on the bridge, Danzo, the arm, he's pulling his arm out. So he's some kind of part Zetsu. He has some Zetsu parts. Something. So we don't know. There's the body of Obito, and we just don't know if it's the soul of Obito. If there's a. And the whole thing that we had, I mean, if anything was going to illustrate it right, Kishimoto illustrated with Kabuto that whole thing of all these different pieces, you know. 
combining together. You know, you can give somebody some of your energy and part of your body and your essence and your this, and there's always combining and recombining, and so we don't actually really know. We also, another thing that seems, that looks to be, um, it looks to be like a much more of a theory is that there isn't one quote unquote mask man. I guess moving away from the Toby thing now. That there's probably more than one mask man. Okay, and there's some people that have been suggesting that, and it looks like that is holding more water since, of course, the whole Obito and Madara, unless, of course, Madara. I mean, there's a, a plot holes right now, it looks like galore. Potentially, I mean, there's still, but there's still a lot that can can be, in, in my opinion, explained because, of course, there's Zetsu, and then there's whatever else, what other pieces are floating around, like the Madara thing, um, and we may. I want to say this too, like I said, getting back to, um, and this, this, in my opinion, would be, would really save, um, more than save face, but it would save. The multiple mask man theory, you know what? There may be an Azuna floating around out there. There may be more than two. Okay? There may be. That's what I'm saying. We don't know. We know there's a body that is probably mostly Obito, grown up. We know his personality is nothing alike. We don't know if there's just bits and pieces. Um, the whole and, and a lot of, there's some of the stuff I don't want to get into because I realize that especially if you've seen other reviewers or you, you you've just probably thought of it your own the whole thing about you know who was Goofy Toby was Goofy Toby Goofy Mask Man one person and then the second one came out was that another mask person and then like I say if it was an Azuna or whoever you know whether it's the um, First, Uchiha, you know, son of the sage of the six paths, or whoever. How many people are actually comprised? Because this could be a huge plot instead of simply just a couple of people. There could be, like I said, there could definitely be more people. And the truth is, like, say, o Ultramaru had multiple hiding spots and everything. The truth is, is like I say, um, the masked man could have multiple places and there could be multiple masked men. But anyway. Um, I know there's more points that I wanted to make, but I would highly recommend everyone that has read 5.99, and in particular, if you had a very bad reaction to 5.99, when you've calmed down, okay, and when you feel that you're, you know, emotionally reacting to the chapter you read, I would strongly suggest that you go back and reread it like I did when you've you know I went and had to do a lot of things today then came back and and believe me I you know I was in a different my mind was in a different place and I was able to really just take the chapter more or less as the chapter is as opposed to all the rest of the stuff that was going on and it is a fantastic chapter and it's really touching the way it was done so I strongly strongly suggest that you go back and read that okay now there's Let's see. <laughs> there's actually, there's quite a few more points that I've made, but I don't want to. I don't want to put too much on it at, at one time. Uh, I want to say I appreciate all my subscribers. Uh, I appreciate the uh, once again, as as with my last video, I appreciate the attitude of the subscribers being pretty pretty uh, respectful of other people's opinions. And that and now that five million has come out, I think that we're all benefiting from that because. And like I said, and we don't know. We've still got another week to find out. There's a lot more. I just hope that he, um, we need more, like I say, we need more answers. There's still a lot of room for Kishimoto to recover from this. But uh, as you can see from fan reaction, uh, I would say the majority of fans, I'm pretty easy going, and I would say the majority of fans are not happy the either the way this has been revealed overall, I will like I said, I will defend this chapter. Five ninety nine, in and of itself, is a great chapter. If you take away our own preconceived ideas, if you take away the whole way it's been rolled out, 
There's a ton of action in it. We get to see a lot of characters uh, when they're younger, which is awesome. There's a lot of great stuff in five ninety nine. Don't let this, don't let the, like I say, don't let the context of this chapter, the way it was rolled out, poison you on it. It's a fantastic chapter. And like I say, once again, I'm gonna please go back and read it again, and then and then give you and then, and then that would be what I would ask everybody to do is please. When you're in a good place, go back, read, read 599 again, and then put in your comments, if you would, if it changed your mind about the chapter, if you look at it differently, and also realizing that it's not done. Like I said, there's a lot more over. But anyway, I'm, I'm starting to repeat myself, starting to roll over. So, <laughs> woo, 599 happened. Wow, okay. Uh, once again, thanks all my subscribers, old and new. I appreciate it. Um, if you want, if you're new, you want to subscribe, that would be fantastic. And I'm really asking for a thumbs up. I'd like to get some support. I really would would, would like to get that. If you feel like it, that would be awesome. You can always subscribe, unsubscribe. You can do anything that you want to. Until next time, take care.